Right heart catheterization is commonly performed by accessing the common femoral vein in the leg, the internal jugular vein in the neck, or the antecubital veins in the arm. For example, in the leg the femoral vein becomes the external iliac vein and then drains into the inferior vena cava which in turn drains into the right atrium. When the catheter reaches the right atrium, a pulsatile right atrial waveform will be observed. Then the catheter is manipulated to turn towards the right ventricle and right ventricular pressure is obtained. Following this, the catheter is advanced to measure the pressure of pulmonary artery. The catheter is balloon tipped. After measuring the pressure of pulmonary artery, the catheter is positioned in a branch of the pulmonary artery and the balloon is inflated. The inflated balloon occludes the branch of the pulmonary artery and thus cuts off pulmonary arterial flow. When this occurs, the pressure in the distal port rapidly falls and after several seconds reaches a stable lower value which is called pulmonary artery wedge pressure. This pressure is not due to pulmonary arterial flow but due to the reversal of flow from pulmonary vein. This pressure is similar to left atrial pressure because the occluded vessel and its distal branches that eventually form the pulmonary veins act as a long catheter that measures the blood pressures within the pulmonary veins and left atrium. It is helpful to measure pulmonary artery wedge pressure to diagnose the severity of left ventricular failure and to quantify the degree of mitral valve stenosis. Both of these conditions elevate left atrial pressure and therefore pulmonary artery wedge pressure. Aortic valve stenosis and regurgitation and mitral regurgitation also elevate left atrial pressure. The normal pressure waves in the cardiac chambers during right heart catheterization with normal values are shown here. In the right atrium, a pulsatile waveform is seen and the pressure ranges from 0 to 8 millimeters of mercury. In the right ventricle, the systolic pressure ranges from 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury and the diastolic pressure ranges from 0 to 8 millimeters of mercury. In the pulmonary artery, the systolic pressure ranges from 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury and the diastolic pressure ranges from 8 to 15 millimeters of mercury. And finally, the pulmonary artery wedge pressure ranges from 8 to 12 millimeters of mercury.